We got the groove with the music don't suck. Come Sebastian Middle Martinez with MMA Unit and Studio MMA here with Ryan Couture who faces Ross Pearson in the McCormick Main Event of UFC Stockholm 2013. Ryan, how are you? Doing great, thanks. How are you? Oh, very good, thank you. As uh, you're here in Stockholm, you're fighting uh, uh, Ross Pearson, who's uh, you know a big British star, big in Europe, uh, one of the ultimate fighter. Uh, how do you see him as an opponent? I'm really excited for the test. I, I've been a fan of Ross since I saw him on the Ultimate Fighter. Always enjoyed his style. He, he comes to fight and, and throws down every time. So, you know, I think it's it's another step up in competition for me that's in keeping with the progression I've made over my last four fights. And I'm just really excited to get in there and see how I do against him. Now, on, pa on paper, it seems like it's a bit of a striker versus grappler matchup. But would you say that it's that way in, in practice? Uh, yeah, I mean, ideally for me, if I can force a wrestling match, that tips the odds in my favor significantly. But, you know, I think we saw in my last fight that was the plan, and it didn't go that way, and, and I still came out on top. And, and uh, you know, I'm not afraid to strike with anybody either. So, you know, obviously I'll be looking for my spot to close the distance, but, but while it's standing, I'll be comfortable there too. Now, he, he fought a grappling in his last match against George Sauteropoulos, uh, and he came out victorious by knockout in the third round. Uh, is there anything in that match or in his game where you see any holes or uh, where you see some opportunities that you can expose? Uh, you know, I think Ross's style is pretty consistent in all of his fights, and, and he's dangerous, especially if he makes you miss. He punishes you for it with the counter punching, and, and uh, you know, so, so we worked on a few things to try and uh, deal with those tools that he brings to the table, but uh, I wouldn't say that I saw any holes or weaknesses. It's just a matter of, of fighting him smart and, and playing to my strengths rather than letting him to play to his. Now, so far your career has been based in strike force. You're not making your UFC debut. It's obviously you know, the biggest stage in the MMA world. How does it feel to finally make a big step? I'm really excited about it. I think uh, my last four fights in strike force were progressively more difficult each one out, and I've grown a lot and learned how to train more, more intelligently, and, and uh, I've been well prepared for each of those and risen to the occasion each time, and, and I think this is going to be a continuation of that. Uh, since your last fight, I think it's Noons, uh, is there anything particularly you've been working on, trying to improve, or something new that you've been trying to learn? Uh, it's more of the same, really, just always trying to build all those tool sets. And, and uh, you know, this fight, because we were fighting another striker, we focused primarily on the kickboxing and how to close the distance properly and, and how to stay out of trouble and avoid his heavy hands. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to show off some improvements there and, and also in the wrestling because, obviously, in the last fight, I didn't get the fight to the mat where I wanted it. So got to fix that this time around. Now, it's obviously a, it's a, it's a big fight, co main event, and it's also your debut. Uh, on top of that, of course, you have a couture name, so people are always um, are going to compare you and uh, look at you that way. Do you feel like there's added pressure just because you're making your debut and people have these expectations on you because of your father? Uh, you know, I don't let the expectation get to me. People can expect whatever they want. I just need to go out there and perform to the, the ability that I know that I have. And as long as I do that and I give it my best and, and do what I know I'm capable of, then I'm happy, win, lose, or draw. So, you know, I don't really feel the added pressure. I'm just excited for a chance for more people to see what I'm capable of and get to know me as a fighter. And uh, obviously that's what we're trying to do now, but... It's uh, almost hard to escape the fact that uh, because of your father, it seems like almost every interview that, that he's brought up uh, is, after a while, does that get tiring for you that, uh, that, that you aren't as much of a focus as you perhaps should be? No, I, uh, I knew going into this before I ever had my first amateur fight that that was the life I was choosing, and, and I'm fine with it. And at least, you know, he's always been my favorite fighter and one of my favorite people, so, so there are w plenty of worse people to spend time talking about. Um, my goal is to just keep building up my, my body of work so that I'll, as, as long as there's something that I've done that people want to talk about in addition to talking about Dad, then I'm doing my job. Well, my father's a journalist, so I try to avoid it as long as possible, but I couldn't. Uh, now, what's, it's not everyone who can say that their father is... Uh, uh, UFC Hall of Famer and ex-champion. Uh, for for those of us who who uh, have a step back from the fighting life, what's it like to have uh, to have such an, an important father figure in mixed martial arts? Uh, I guess I don't really know what it's like to not have that, so it's a tough question to answer. But but he, he's great. He's still the same guy he was when I was a kid, and and all he did was wrestle. And you know he, he he's awesome. I think we've been able to grow closer because I've been living in Vegas and working for him at the gym and, and training with him for these fights and that's been nice for us to get to kind of bond over. Um, but you know, I, I have nothing to complain about. It's, it's a great situation for me. All right, well, that's great to hear. Now, uh, just to round off here, you're facing uh, uh, Ross Pearson in a co-main event and uh, he's a European fighter. You're an American. Most generally, the European crowds tend to root for their own and against the Americans. Is that something that bothers you? No, not at all. Um, I, most of that is just a kind of dull roar in the background anyway. As soon as that cage door closes, I'll be tunnel vision on Ross. So I don't care who's yelling what and for who. It's, it's a fight either way, and, and I plan on winning it.
And uh, for those of you who haven't seen you perform yet, for those who perhaps mostly follow the UFC, what can we expect from your UFC debut? Uh, just uh, a variety of skills. I, I've, I've got good striking, good wrestling, good ground, and I plan on showing all of that off. So just be ready for an exciting fight. We're definitely expecting it. This is Sebastian Vettel Martinez of MMA at the Studio MMA here with Ryan Couture, who faces Ross Pearson at UFC Stockholm 2013. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. It has been hunted since the beginning of man. It has challenged us to become better, faster, and more determined. Failure is part of the game, but never accepted. But as sweet as it may taste in the end, it's the pursuit that defines those in it. Here's to victory. Next chance to join the chase. Betta live i mobilen. Nu dubblar vi din första insättning. Betsafe.com. In it to win it.